morning, Hockey Town, and welcome to another edition of the Fort Check live from right here at Little Caesars Arena. I hope you guys are having your coffee right now, just waking up, still in bed, right, Ken? I already had a couple cups. Already. Yeah, definitely. We needed it today. We needed it. Exactly. Um, so the Red Wings are coming off a loss on Thursday to Tampa, yet another loss. That's 15 regular season games straight, but Tampa's just very, very good this year. I think one positive we can take away, Madison Bowie seems to be finding his way with the Red Wings, not only on the blue line, but he scored a goal on Thursday. Well, he's a work in progress, and he is learning how to play the Red Wing way, and it's it's hard for any youngster to come in and just, you know, dominate. And he's 24 years old right now, and I think down the road he's just going to be able to be a solid defender back there on the blue line. But nice goal right there as he shot it from the blue line, picked the corner of the net, and I, I like his shot. He's got a hard shot from the line. And I know he's a defender, so we're going to be looking more for him defensively as we go forward with him. But what does that do for someone's confidence, a young guy's confidence like that, to score a goal? Well, he's, like you said, Blaschel and company wants him to be a defender, and, and that's defend first and then get the offense later. And uh, I think it's a bonus anytime you can get a youngster like that to, to score a goal. And, and, of course, you know, his points will come down the road. Right, and a couple new Red Wings that will be in the lineup here shortly tonight. We've got Ryan Kuffner out of Princeton. He'll be in the lineup tonight. And then Taro Hirose is looking like he's going to play on Tuesday. Ken, is this kind of like a tryout for them, per se? It is, and it's a great opportunity for both of those youngsters. And when you look at uh, Kuffner, he was the leading scorer uh, you know, in his career over at Princeton, and he's a goal scorer, and that's something that the Red Wings need. Now, he's not going to go out there today. I'd be surprised if he scores three goals, but he's one of those guys that'll get into the slot, and if he can get the puck, he's got a really good shot, and he's liable to score a couple goals. But it's a great opportunity for everybody, the coaching staff, the fans, the scouts, to take a look at him and see what he can do. And especially for him, he's making his NHL debut tonight. Carly Johnston was in the locker room yesterday with him and Coach Blaschel. Thanks, guys. Yeah, afternoon game today against the New York Islanders. We've got Dylan Larkin back in the lineup and Ryan Kuffner making his NHL debut. Let's see what the team had to say about that. I, I think, uh, like, at least knowing, like, a couple of the guys, um, like, even going on the ice for the first time yesterday um, was a lot. And I'm um, still, like, obviously really cool and just tried to, like, have fun with it and go with the flow. But I think today it was better and just try to get into a rhythm and even... Uh, like at times just try to like take the play myself as much as possible just try to get comfortable going one-on-one -on -one with these kind of guys um, they're, they're unbelievable players so it's just I'm just trying to do everything I can to push myself and challenge myself against these guys I know um, that I'll try to get a bit better I don't know, is there anything that struck you about him at all uh not enough to see yeah. you know like I'd, I'd be I'd be stretching a little bit I mean I think in the end um, even after a game, I don't think you should make a whole bunch of judgment. I think you should watch as much as you can and then make judgment. I think, you know, we tend to snap the judgments and, and enough times they're wrong. So, um, you know, I think also one of the things that uh, could be his great asset is his IQ, and that's really hard to tell in practice. So both him and Herosi are, are that way. So let's, let's keep watching. Team is looking to get back into the winning column before heading out on a road trip. Back to you guys. We're excited to see Kuffner in the lineup tonight. One guy that won't be in the lineup, Justin Ablicator. That's just a no for you guys. He will be out. He's got some kind of bruise that he's going to let heal, so he won't be playing today. Somebody that is playing today, Dylan Larkin, is back in the lineup for the Red Wings tonight. Today. Today. It's a 1 o'clock game. Today. <laughs> we were just talking. We keep saying tonight. It's going to be today. So that's exciting. Um, it's good to see him back from injury and know that he's healing. Sure is. And uh, I think a lot of Red Wing fans uh, were thinking, oh, oh, he could be out for the rest of the season season but what I like about Dylan Larkin is competitive spirit and he's one of the leaders on this team as you know Daniela and he's one of the guys that you want to see him in the lineup the fans want to see him play and he wants to play and that's something that uh, you always cherish in a great player like Dylan Larkin and you know the fans get to see him play this afternoon against a very good team in the New York Islanders and he's already got a career high in goals this season and he's on his way to getting his career high in points he's just two away from passing that mark absolutely and uh, if he continues to grow like we've seen him over the last four years those numbers are going to increase and he just had a terrific season this year and uh, hopefully he has a good finish for the Red Wings and he finishes up with those career numbers and let's go back for a minute Philip Zadina played his last game last of the nine against Tampa can I just want to get your thoughts what did you think overall of Zadina's performance while he was up here well I really didn't know and uh, you know he started playing better in Grand Rapids as the year progressed and before his call up to the Red Wings uh, he started playing some really good hockey scores 
scoring some goals. But I was impressed with his play, and his numbers, his time on ice reflected that. And, uh, you know, he scored three points in nine games. And those are good numbers for a guy just coming up and playing nine games, your first nine games in the NHL. And he's going to go back to Grand Rapids and play in the playoffs with uh, the Griffins, so that will be exciting for him as well. And it's great for the Gri Griffins, too, because they want to make a playoff run, a deep playoff run. And uh, at the end of the season, I'm sure a couple other Red Wings that are playing right now will join uh, Philip Zadina down there. So all the best to the Grand Rapids Griffins in their playoff push. All right. Let's uh, talk playoff push for the Islanders tonight. We're, today. Today. I'm going to get that, I swear. So we're welcoming the Islanders today. They are in a playoff spot right now, just uh, one out of the second in their division. They're just behind the Capitals. So you can see the playoff picture right there. What can we expect from them tonight? Today? They're, a, they're <laughs> a solid team, Daniela. And uh, they have a great coach in Barry Trotz. Of course, he was the head coach of the Washington Capitals when they won the Stanley. Cup and they really turned things around especially in goal and I know we'll talk about that in a little bit but um, Matthew Barzell is their leading goal scorer and uh, leading scorer on the team and he's one of the guys that really hurt the Red Wings and in he's got 11 points in five games against Detroit but they're loaded up front pretty solid back there on the blue line and they compete hard and they play as a five-man group and they play as a team and I think that's the reason why they're successful. You mentioned them being loaded up front they've got Anders Lee and Josh Bailey along with Barzell, as you mentioned, Anders Lee has 25 goals this season already, so he has hit that benchmark four times in his career. Very good player, and um, you know I remember when Franz Nielsen was with the New York Islanders, and and you teamed him up with Bailey and Lee and everybody else, and they were a solid group. They still are a solid group. Barry Trotz again, he's just done a terrific job with that club, and as I mentioned, they play well as a team. They rarely make mistakes, and they rarely hurt themselves by shooting themselves in the foot. And when they do make mistakes, we've got to try and capitalize because, as you mentioned, they've got two studs in net this year. And we were talking earlier about the turnaround in these two goaltenders. Yeah, Leonard and Grice, they were the worst goaltenders in the league last year. And it, it's amazing the turnaround. But, again, as we talked about that team play, I think that's helped them. They've limited the shots on goal and chances against. And just terrific goaltenders this year. And they're they're. I think they've got combined nine shutouts between them this season, and that's tops in the National Hockey League. And, Ken, I know this might be kind of repetitive. We know the Red Wings aren't going to be in the playoffs this season, but we've still got a few games to play. What will you be looking for out of the Red Wings when the puck drops today? Well, we talked about Kuffner, and we want to see what he can do. Rossi will probably play in that game against the New York Rangers on Tuesday. So you want to see what they can add to the picture. We talked about Madison Bowie, all the youngsters. Right now, uh, there's a lot on the line for these guys going into next season and um, you know it's not like you're just running out the rest of the 11 games or 10 games after this game this afternoon against the Islanders there's a lot to prove out there on the ice and believe me the coaching staff is looking at every single shift that these guys play not only youngsters but also the veterans as well and we've got an exciting matchup with the Islanders today guys you won't want to miss it get down here puck drop is at 1 p.m. great way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day right Absolutely. you can get a really cool t-shirt I'm actually wearing it I've got the green hockey town t-shirt if you get here early enough, look at that. It's really cool. So you can get one of those. But if you don't come to the game, you can always catch it on uh, Fox Sports Detroit or tune into 97 Win the Ticket with your very own Ken Kale. Thank you guys for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your morning, and we will see you next time.